Hey, good evening, everybody. I hope you guys are having a fantastic night. My name is Adam. I'm back with you for another for another video. Um, today I'm going to be talking. Today I'm just going to be um telling you a story here. Um, this is going to be another one of my story videos for tonight. So, um, here. Um, I've always actually here's here's something that uh this is a uh, having having something to do with coming out of high school so um my my it, it started out when I was going into a um into a a transition program um I was uh it was part of the uh, Monroe School District over here in Monroe Wash over in Monroe Washington. Um, and it was put on by the Monroe School District. And, um, and it's basically, you get job, like, not like job training, but you just kind of go as a volunteer, go in from a volunteer or something like that. So you can get some, some, some idea of what it's like for work experience. So, um, and, um, and we, we've, we done, and we do like various things. We, we, we go out into the community, we do stuff out there, and, um, on my second year there, in the, in that program, um, I was a, I was actually starting in the field kind of, at the beginning of the year, I felt fine, I was energetic. I was eager to go, but then we're towards the end of it, right down towards the end of the uh, year, I started feeling kind of lousy, low on energy, losing my appetite. I was losing appetite, my appetite really quick, and by him when the summer came, I was getting more and more lethargic. Um, and then all of a sudden we, uh, we, we, we were actually, this one day, one day, one time we were actually going to the, um, to a concert down at the Gorge Amphitheater, which is here in the state of Washington, but it's on the east side of the, over in eastern Washington. And, uh, as we were coming out of the, at the end of the concert, as we were, as we were coming out and heading to the car, um, I started feeling crappy again, and, uh, and it felt like I was gonna, I probably, like, felt like I was gonna throw up or something like that, and, um, apparently, um, I almost did on the, when I almost did it in the trash, which would have been a, which probably would have been a better idea. Which probably would have been a better idea to actually throw up in the trash instead of on the ground. So. So I almost did it. And so. And then. Um, when I got. When we got to the car. That's when I blew it. That's when I threw up all over the place. I literally like threw up all over the place. And my dad said, that's it, you're going to the doctor, man. And uh, so we went to the doctor on that that week, at the beginning of that week. And um, and they um, had me do a, like a blood, so they had me, and I had to go down for like a blood, for a blood draw, for a diagnosis or something like that. And then later that week, they, we went to, um, by the next following, actually the next following week, we actually went up to, uh, up to the Evergreen Hospital Medical Center up in Kirkland, Washington, and, uh, we, um, went in, and I, and I went in for an ultrasound to find out what was going on, so, um, 
and it comes to find out that um, I had hypertension, which means, which in a medical term means high blood pressure. That's just a thing. That's just something that what you call like blood, high blood pressure and stuff like that. So basically, it was high blood pressure. So. And as as was as we were in there, um, the uh, one of the doctors, one of the kidney doctors over at that particular place, um, actually called my mom while I was in there. While I was in there doing the ultrasound, and they comes to find out that I had kidney failure, which led me to being admitted into the hospital, which ultimately put me in the hospital for about three or four days. Like, I would say more like five days, actually. So I was only in there, so I was in there for almost a week. So, which means I was in the hospital for almost a week, so. Um, because I... Got admitted on a Monday, so and then I get and I didn't get discharged out until like Friday or something like that. So and that Sunday and that following that Sunday when I got out of the hospital, I went to my uh, first uh, dialysis appointment. Well, actually, that Tuesday, the next Tuesday, I went in for a um. Well, actually, no, I got out on a Sunday, actually. Sorry. <laughs> I actually got out on a Sunday, so. And I didn't get, um, and I had my dialysis, one last dialysis treatment in there, in there before I left. Well, actually, it was a Saturday. No, it was a, it was a Saturday. Sorry. Because <laughs> I was, because we were going to be going to a, to a hockey game that night, and apparently I got sick again. When I was coming out, and the dialysis technician said that's pretty normal for, for um, for when sometimes sometimes people do kind of throw up after they come out of the, come off sometimes, but not all the time. Some people can tolerate it, some people can't. But um, so anyways, I I throw up in the toilet. Thank God, I didn't do it on the floor. Thank God, I did not do it on the floor. Because I got to the bathroom in time, so got into the bathroom right on time, just as I was about to throw up. Because I started feeling dizzy, and then that's what made me throw up. That's that's the one thing that actually made me throw up, so. Um, which was kind of ridiculous in a way, so. But, um, and then I, uh, and then... That's when I started my first five years on dialysis. And just on the 12th of this month, about 10 years ago, I got a, a, a kidney transplant. So, so yeah, that was, a, that was my story for that. So, um, that, that's going to end. Anyways, that's going to conclude this video for today. So, if you guys did like this video... Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you are new, and um, I will catch you guys all in the next video. Peace!